One of the most popular home sizes for home plans is the 2,200 square foot range. Let's look at 10 homes in the United States at that size. The house you're looking at now is a three bedroom, two and a half bath for just under $700,000 in Missoula, Montana. Missoula is a beautiful area surrounded by three mountain ranges. They have a good sized downtown for a city of 66,000. Lots of shops and restaurants and coffee shops. The Clark River runs through the town and the river is lined with parks. Right next to Karis Park is Brennan's Wave, a spot where people frequently surf on the river. There are local ski runs only 13 miles away at Snow Bowl. Flathead Lake is an hour and 15 minutes north. Winters are cold, with an average of 45 days where the temperature does not rise above freezing. But summers are very nice, with only an average of 24 days with temperatures at or above 90 degrees. Montana's property rates are relatively low at an effective rate of 0.85%. The next one is a three bedroom, two and a half bath house for $440,000 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque sits within a metro of 916,000 people. I was there a few years ago and had a fun time at Biological Park a complex featuring botanical gardens, an aquarium, and a zoo. You can also check out Meow Wolf not too far away in Santa Fe, a crazy, hands-on, interactive art experience. Albuquerque is a great place for getting outdoors with its mild winters and high elevation forests for cooler summer hikes in the Santa Fe Mountains and Carson National Forest. Every month of the year has a greater than 70% chance of being sunny. This place has great weather, and even though it's a desert and can get hot in the summer, the average high in July is only 90.1 degrees. In the state of New Mexico, the average sales tax rate after local surcharges is 7.35%, and the average property tax rate is a low 0.55%. The third one with its wrought iron and balcony are doing its best to look the part of New Orleans. This home built in 1881 is a two bedroom, two and a half baths for $819,900. Founded in 1718, New Orleans has been around a while and has a strong developed culture. The city is a perfect match for someone who loves living in an urban hub. They have good times here, especially when it comes to living it up through music and food. Parties like Jazz Fest, Voodoo Fest, Essence Music Festival, and Mardi Gras happen every year. Situated in the south and next to the Gulf of Mexico, it is hot and humid here almost all year round. Louisiana's state sales tax rate averages 8.91% after local surcharges. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe so we can grow the channel. This four bedroom, two and a half bath house is the fourth listing today and goes for $439,900. Knoxville has a great music scene. Blender ranked it 17th in the United States in 2003. The Big Ears Festival and the 17-day Dogwood Arts Festival both feature live music, and the area has over a dozen music venues. If you're looking for outdoor activities, lakes and mountains are plentiful in this area. Check out Watts Bar Lake, Milton Hill Lake, Cherokee Lake, Norris Lake, Great Smoky Mountains National Park, and Frozen Head State Park. The average daily high temperature in July is 88.4 degrees with only an average of 36 days per year with temperatures reaching 90 degrees or higher. Winters are more temperate, averaging only one day a year that stays under freezing. Tennessee is ranked the 17th most libertarian state. This is mainly due to fiscal and regulatory rankings. Its personal freedom ranking is quite low. There's no taxes on income from wages, but investment and other income will have taxes. The average rate for property taxes is quite low at 0.68% on average. The 
the next house is a four bedroom, two and a half bath house in New Hampshire for $525,000. Bedford is a suburb of Manchester's Metro with a population in the area totaling 400,000 people. This area has all four seasons with long, cold, snowy winters. You can make the best out of that by heading up to Pat's Peak Ski Area, which has a cool 28 runs. Summers are hot and humid, but you can find relief in the dense forests of Bear Brook State Park and Paw Tuckaway State Park. Another option to cool off is to head down to the nearby beaches. They're just a short hour's drive away. New Hampshire has no state sales tax, and it doesn't impose state income tax from wages or salaries. New Hampshire collects an average property tax rate of 1.86%. The sixth house today is a two bedroom, two and a half bath house for $674,900. North of Burlington and right next to Lake Champlain sits Colchester, Vermont. The lake is the 16th largest lake by area in the United States and is known to be a great spot for both fishing and sailing. There are five marinas in the area, so you're going to have company out there. If getting elevated is your thing, there's hiking at Camel Hump State Park or skiing at Stowe Mountain Resort. The College City of Burlington is just a few minutes away as well. There are two schools for higher education, the University of Vermont and Champlain College. As with most college towns, there is also a lot of nice restaurants, plus music and art venues and events in the area. The Vermont State average sales tax rate after local surcharges is 6.14% and Vermont collects an average property tax rate of 1.59%. Next, for $449,000 is this four bedroom, two and a half bath house in Weems. Weems, Virginia is east of Richmond and adjacent to the Rappahannock River Tidal Area with access to the Chesapeake Bay. This is a great place whether you want to canoe, kayak, power boat, or sail, with several yacht and sailing clubs nearby. Weems is a bit far from any big city, Richmond being about an hour and a half away. Counties in Virginia collect an average property tax rate of 0.74% and the average Virginia sales tax rate after local surcharges is 5.63%. Up next, we have a three bedroom, two bath house for $370,000. Currituck is a small town in a rural area of Northeast North Carolina. Not too far away from the Atlantic coast, it is between Kitty Hawk Beach and Norfolk, about 35 miles to each. This area has a little bit of everything. Rural, urban, and beach lifestyles are all close by. The weather is pleasant. The average high in January is 52, and for July, it is 89. There is easy access to the protected waters of the Currituck Sound. Many water sports activities are available in the Sound, including jet skiing, sea kayaking, and parasailing. It is also known for great duck and goose hunting. For $370,000, we have the ninth home, this three bedroom, two bath house. This property is also in North Carolina, but Lenore is nestled in the foothills of the Appalachians. Lenore is a small town of 18,000 people. It's quieter than many towns, so it's not gonna have the hustle and bustle some might be looking for. But if you're looking for a nice small town with a few blocks of restaurants and shops in a historic downtown, Lenore will fill the bill. This area has nice weather. The average highs are 49 in January and 88 in July. You'll find easy access to the Appalachians and Rhodus Lake. And last up, we have this three bed, two and a half bath house. Ketchikan in the prepper state of Alaska is on an island in the southern part of the state. The weather here is warmer than you would think. Influenced by the closeness to the Pacific Ocean, the winter's average high temperatures are above freezing. Summers are mild. July's average high is 78 degrees. 
There are only a few places in Alaska with actual infrastructure. Ketchikan has both a highway and an airport, but to get from one to the other will require a ferry ride. If you're the outdoors type of person, you'll find a lot to do here. Hunting, fishing, hiking, and boating are all popular activities. Other than that, this is more of a spot to hunker down at home than for arts and culture. The cost of living here is very high, but the state has no income tax and no sales tax. Property tax rates average 1.04%. Okay, that'll do it for this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.